morning, guys. Um, this is Steve Brown from Swansea Creatures. I'm here with Ben Ruddle uh, from Home Instead. Morning. Uh, we're doing a series of videos, and uh, you know about what Ben and his team actually do here at Home Instead. And one of the things that you mentioned in the previous video, you, you mentioned vascular dementia. Mm -hmm. So, what is vascular dementia? Okay. Vascular dementia is uh, one of the dementia family. Okay. okay. There's 120 different types of dementia. So, is I like because I, I know my dad had Alzheimer's, so there's I didn't realize there's that many. So, there's, okay. Well, actually, an important point. I'll quickly cover that. Alzheimer's um, is becoming the brand name, if you like, associated with dementia. Okay. Um, it is the dementia that has the largest number of diagnosis, right. but it only accounts for 40% of the diagnosis. Okay, okay so that's interesting. It's large, but it's, yeah. it, it's not the only one. Vascular dementia is generally uh, resulting from uh, strokes associated with uh, narrowing of the carotid artery going up to the brain. Okay. Um, and the sad thing with vascular dementia is it's like a, a stairs. Um, so what you, one of the characteristics you find is that the condition will plateau for some time right. and then all of a sudden boom, right. it'll really okay. significantly drop. It can be as quick as a week yeah. and then it'll plateau for a bit longer and then it'll drop off okay. again. So they're deteriorating <laughs> literature set step by step. Yeah, the reason why we have quite a lot of uh, vascular dementia clients right. is because generally, because of the type of dementia that it is, they are mobile. Okay. Okay. So their mobility is generally pretty good. Yeah. It's just that their memory is is gone, and okay. so we've got a lot of clients that we take out from a companionship point of view, okay. getting them out in the community um, because they're still very mobile. Okay. And so somebody who's uh, being diagnosed with it, um, do you, as a as a company or you know, as a business, do you actually deal with all stages, or does it reach a stage where? you can no longer, because obviously it's going to be just stage where they can't stay at home. Yeah. So how do you assess that? Because the, the one thing I wouldn't want to do is, it's all very well, because I, I look great, you're, a, you know, you're, you're providing a, a service to, to my mum or my dad who has got this illness, and I don't want you just coming in and saying you can look after them, when in fact they reach a stage where they should actually be taking them a step further. Yes. How do you judge that? How do you evaluate that? Okay. By the time someone gets to the stage where they potentially are not safe in their environment yeah. and need uh, external support yeah. or they need to be in a different care setting yeah. or not in their own house in a yes. care setting, by the time that happens, there are so many professionals involved with the support yeah. to make that decision and uh, for the best interests of the individual that we're supporting. Yeah. So, a, ethically, we would never be in that position that we would want to be keeping someone in their own home when it wasn't in their best interest. Sure. Um, but also, there is so many other regulatory stuff that we have to put in place to make sure that that, isn't, yeah. that never ever happens. Yes. Um, we are hugely regulated by the CSSIW, which is the Care and Social Services Inspectorate of Wales, if you like the Care Police. Yeah. Um, we're inspected by our own organisation as well. Right. Our records are inspected, our practices are inspected. Um, and most importantly, every single person that works in home instead, whether it's carers or whether it's the staff in the office, are only there to promote the independence, the safety, and improve the quality of life of that particular person. Okay. You know, <clears throat> yes, we're a business. Yeah. yeah? Um, we need, you know, we need profits to keep the thing rolling, but it is very much about the individual right. providing a better quality of life for them. Okay. Um, so that never happens. Okay. So, and as you just mentioned, there's lots of other professionals involved, you know, social workers and everything else that go out there. So it's not just a, somebody from home said saying, yes, we look after mum or dad, whatever. It is, there's a whole team of people involved in this. Absolutely. That's very interesting. Okay. So, guys, if you want to know more about uh, vascular dementia and the services that Home Instead can provide, uh, to either you or a member of your family, all you're going to do is go to the website that's listed below or phone Ben or one of his team on the t telephone number that's listed below and we'll show you all in the next video. See you, mate.